Hi everyone, Getrat here from NIP. Today I'm gonna give you five different tips on how to play terrorist on Vertigo. So everyone knows already Vertigo is such a new map, so you don't really know anything special about it. I mean, for those who play 1.6, they actually have a pretty good idea of how the map works and like the layout and whatnot. And even though, like you look here in the on the left side corner here, it's like, you know, A and B and blah, 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 and whatnot, you know, it's nothing special with it. But there's a lot of different ways to attack the bomb sites, and that's something that I will try to explain to you in words, and how you can do it properly when you're entering the B side, and also on the A side. What we're gonna start off directly is like, <clears throat> one of the rounds that I play on the show game, I hope you guys watched that game, when I was playing with Taco, Cold, uh, somebody that young, and I was also playing with Tarek, and we won over the Shinies team. Even though Tarek and Coltsia was throwing the game because he, they wanted to do a knife in a one on three, so it became double overtime. Anyhow, we actually came up on a tactic kind of straight up that, that, that this tactic is going to be needed for us to actually win the rounds because we understood that A was actually much more easier to attack instead of B. Because of B, you don't even know because there's a lot of angles to hold and whatnot. So we did, we did actually call out like kind of straight up like we're going to do, do a five man like strand and actually attack on, on the fly and also more like on the contact. So what we're doing like this, so we're walking straight up here on the ramp and just be ready to attack on the A side here. And directly when we got the contact either from the sandbags or the straightforward like angle here with up, we're gonna rush. And the fourth or the fifth guy is gonna straight up like be ready to flash if it's necessary on the line. And so if we're lucky enough, we which I think we were, to get the entry here straight up because the up was holding like the angle here and he missed it somehow. We're just gonna strafe and then attack the bomb set with directly Molotov in the corner here. I think even one of us was actually throwing Molotov here. To just get out some choke points, so we don't have to think about it. And we are sitting in plant here, for example. Another thing that's very good to know about when you go into against the A site is there's actually another ramp that you have to go through. And if you're gonna, instead of walking in the direction that we were, we're just walking up straight up here in the ramp, you can actually take this exit here, or more like this mini ramp or whatever, whatever you're really saying. <clears throat> One thing you have to know when you're coming up here is like the CT actually can spam pretty easily from here. And no, like they can hit you pretty easily if you really wanted to. But we, we actually dodged it pretty well, so we have never really had like any issues with that in general. But it's a good thing to know about it when you did this, like, this second strat thing. <clears throat> Because we were doing like more like an A and B split, but we were doing like three against A and two against B to just, you know, make more pressure against the CT guys. So you're not stacking too many guys against A. But when we were walking up here, we just remember to always Molotov, you know, close to the sandbags here. No, that was not really a good Molotov, but, <clears throat> you know, get it off so we never know like there's someone sitting in behind it or like hiding and can get easy kills. Because I think we actually got pretty punished in that episode, like in the show game. But if you have an op, for example, and you're just walking up like this, just very slowly, peeking and whatnot, then just, you know, be ready to shoot when you actually get the contact. Two of your teammates can just straight up walk here close by, and directly when he, the guy who has the op here, just shoot one bullet, the just can straight up, straight up, attack the bombs and then take it, you know, with AK. So the op actually can just sit here, hold the angle up here, because he actually can stand here, and just peek and get an easy frag with that. By that. <clears throat> One thing that is very curious that I really never really got to touch in the game or the, the show game we were playing was to actually attack the B site. And I actually got to understand you can actually flash through here, through the window, and you can actually flash the middle part pretty easily because the CT guys are usually gonna hold here and just have smoke it off and whatnot. <clears throat> but it's a very good thing if you wanna do a straight up rush. So we're gonna do a straight up rush here in the middle area, like <clears throat> I don't really know if you're calling it the middle, but at least we were saying that. You can be having one guy that's standing like me, and the rest of the three guys in front of you just rushing, and they can get flash from you, or whatever teammates you just strafe up forward with the AKs in their hands, so you just attack the bomb site, and do a split against me, or a split against the A. Because there's a lot of options here against B site that you hit, you have to remember it because there's a door here. <clears throat> you can also jump here through the window. We were calling a taco, at least in the show game. And you actually can smoke this this area off. And then you can attack here from the city spawn area. 
But one thing that I understood when we were playing this game, or this show game, I'm always gonna refer back to that, just so you know, because I, I don't really have that much knowledge about the map. That we wanted to always make it more harder for the city guys to, you know, cover the bomb sites and make them split up instead of being knowing that they're gonna five stack or four stack or something like that. So what we were aiming to do is like every round we wanted to have at least someone go in the middle area, flash it off, make sounds, maybe throw a, you know, more like a smoke here, whatnot, maybe Molotov like behind the barrel here, or the sandbags. Just so you know that the CTX can't really have any cover from it. But at the same time, we want to always have someone or two guys walking up here and just try to see if they get easy duels because they already know we are already covering this area, so they know that CTX can't be really standing here or like attack them pretty, pretty easily. But since there's so many different angles, you have to remember you can be hiding far up there, there's an object missing up there, and whatnot. So one, one thing we had to remember was like actually, I think it's just standing like this, and you do a jump throw. And you can Molotov behind the barrels here, or the bomb side. It's a pretty neat Molotov to use because you know you, <coughs> there's not really a big thing into it, but you know you can always Molotov them off. No, it wasn't really good at like it were before, but you know they can't really be hiding here, you know. So they're always gonna take easy damage from that. But since the map is pretty new, you can't, I can't really go into deep details and whatnot, and like you can do like this, you can use this smoke, you can use this flash, or molotov, or nade, or whatnot. But there's, there's always something you have to remember, or something that you need to know about, at least that on the A bomb side, there's not really big show points, and it's actually pretty easy to attack. But you have to remember how to use your utility perfectly instead of just going into a crossfire as a ter like the city guys are gonna have. Or they're gonna be, you know, just crushing you because you're gonna just straight up straight for the guns. But one thing that I remember was like we have to always monitor this area here. Because the seat is with the ops and whatnot, I mean, now it's not perfect enough, but if you get a Molotov down here, they can't be you know, looking here if you're gonna straight up forward to the bomb site. And you have to always throw a Molotov down here. Even though you're not gonna hurt the guy who's gonna be standing up here on the ledge that often, because the, the Molotov can be so so sometimes. You just throw it in there, you don't have to think about it anymore. But you have to always remember that a guy can always be standing here and be ready for that, because the opera is gonna probably stand here and try to get an easy pick, jump down and get another positioning. But what we what we were doing for that, because I knew or at least what I understood was the Chinese guys actually practice a lot of vertical before the show game. <clears throat> and they even throw like smokes down here and whatnot. You know, to smoke off the show points. Not that this smoke is good enough, but you know something. Um that we wanted to actually use the Molotovs more to actually attack the bomb side without really thinking about it. Instead of using the smokes like they were, because the smokes they were throwing or like lying here, and it was lying here, if I remember wrong. They are pretty decent when you think about it, but in the same time they weren't really pushing anything with it, so they didn't really help them at all, even though they knew how to throw the nades and whatnot. But what we were doing at least, the point I'm trying to come to, we were using the Molotovs in this corner, Molotov down there, and just attack the bombs and just like kind of hope for the best. So I'm hoping something at least can help you out to play the new map of Vertigo. Even though it's not really new, but it's, you know, new in CSGO. And if you'd like to, you know, enjoy more content from us and whatnot, just subscribe to the NIP YouTube channel.